We got one card here, heartbreak energy. Someone could be in pain and sorrow. I feel like someone could be regretting the decisions they made. Hmm. So it seems someone is regretting what they did in between a connection, a soul bond, something that came out of nowhere. This is, could be unexpected situations here. I feel like this is someone you once held in high honor who broke your heart or disappointed you in a great way, but I feel there is history or cycles of this. Many of you are no longer blindsided or surprised by someone's actions. Yeah, this is definitely a long bond or something that captivated your heart. I feel for many of you, this is something that runs deep, especially when it comes to the tears and the happiness that was shared. I feel you could be cautious because someone did something that was forbidden. Someone definitely overstepped their boundaries. There's a lot of feelings involved when it comes to this energy. Who never thought their actions and behaviors would turn around and bite them in the end or come back to haunt them? Someone definitely thinks about you a lot, but I feel this energy sits in regret as well. Something within this connection was broke apart. The bond was broken. Many of you were blindsided by something, causing something to be delayed or paused. I feel this is someone who had no loyalty. This is why something is not the same. But this energy is thinking about the past. This energy is thinking about what things could be. And they're wanting to take action. So, in so many ways, for some of you, this energy wants to surprise you. Someone wants to travel with you or surprise you with a getaway or make something right out of the blue. I feel like this is someone who wants to take action, but they could be in fear because something has gone on for too long. I feel this is someone who sits in fear of showing you affection because things have gone round and round with this energy. Cycles are already always repeating when it comes to someone who brought you a lot of heartbreak. I feel this connection was supposed to bring you a sense of resolution or happiness, but I feel something was broken beyond repair or someone just never resurrected or gave you a chance. There was no clarity. Someone's always keeping a secret. Now someone is hoping that you're not guarded. Someone's going through a lot of karma here because of the secrets and the pain that they cause going round and round within a situation. Someone's heavily affected here. Hmm. Someone wants to show you love, so show you some type of energy, but they're in fear of some type of rejection. They feel like you're guarded to forgiving them. But I feel someone doesn't know you as well as they feel they do. This is someone who feels like something is not over. This could also be your energy as well. Not everyone. Please take it how it resonates. But someone feels like you are guarded to forgiveness or an apology or connecting in some type of way. You don't see them as being respectful or even loyal. This is someone who thinks about you, but they also think about the regret. They're thinking about how they blindsided you or continue to play a game. Hmm. This is definitely someone who presents themselves as something else to everyone else, but this is someone who's very real, real to their core when it comes to you. I feel you have seen things about or seeing things when it comes to this energy that no one would ever see. And this is why they sit in fear. This energy is sitting in fear because they know that the karma that is coming their way is lethal. This energy could also already be sitting in that energy because they're thinking about you, knowing that you're guarded for a very serious or necessary reason. I feel this is someone who is always sending you some type of mixed signals. This is what they sit in regret about, blindsiding you to a truth reeling you in and then throwing something away this energy regrets something because they feel like something isn't over someone is regretting the space or the distance between the two of you even a third party this group of energies could be hmm, this third party could be jealous for some of you this is coming out as a group of people where there's mixed energy it's not everyone feels the same about you but I feel there's one that stands out that causes a lot of dysfunction. This energy is very jealous when it comes to you. Whether you know them or not, they know you. This is someone who knows they took something too far. This group of people, there's a lot of mixed energies where there's a lot of regret. This is 
an energy here where they're in they're thinking about you and this delay, this pause where there should be love. Hmm. This energy feels like you no longer see them as trustworthy. Yet this energy is still hanging on to the fact that you may forgive them. This energy is also realizing they might also be rejected. This is someone who doesn't like the fact that you're moving on or guarded. Someone feels like you don't have a time of day, pause and delay. This is what puts someone in regret. I feel there has been a distance for some of you every now and again, but I feel this is starting to hit different. Something about this situation is starting to feel final. Something has put this person in a state of action or fear. Someone doesn't want you to give up or forget about them. For some of you, this energy feels like they're just someone you used to know or believe in, but now someone is wanting to take action. One more card from this deck, Holy Spirit, final card. Someone thinks that you are transforming or finding a new perspective that doesn't involve them. And this is why they're hoping that you haven't transformed or outgrown them. But I also feel this is someone who's been very petty with you in the past. I feel this is someone who is worried about what you're attracting, what you're transforming into, who you're becoming. I feel there's a lot of secrets and this is why someone goes round and round, never bringing clarity to a situation, a close bond, because there's too many secrets. Someone feels like the something should just be left in the past, but I feel there's need there's a need for clarity or something will continue. A cycle will always go round and round. Many of you want off of this situation, want off of this merry-go-round of toxic energy or someone believing something or wanting others to believe something about you that just isn't true but I feel this is someone who just lives in fear they live in fear and they're praying, hoping praying that their karma doesn't come back to bite them someone feels like the distance or the silence between the two of you has gone on for too long longer than usual and i feel there's also something here that is not expected hmm. there's a lot of secrets and i feel for some of you you know that there are some things that you don't know but i feel you also have to look past something just to be a part of something love someone anyways but I feel someone is just shocked at the fact that you made something clear through actions and not words. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what are the messages here? Ooh. It's almost one more day. Someone definitely missed an opportunity with you sitting in this petty, shady energy. I feel someone showed you exactly who they are. So as I said before, this is someone who presents themselves around others as something or someone else, someone who is generous, nurturing, true to their word, but this is someone who is not being true. This is someone who is not being honest about what they honestly do behind the scenes. They're very detached when it comes to emotions and reality. This is someone who believed that you would always find your way back. This is someone who believed that you would always chase or try to fix something or fight for your position. But I feel something was revealed to you about the situation that finally made you see something differently. Hmm. I feel like the truth was revealed and even if this was something that was spoken to you or something that you just realized yourself I feel it was something that pushed you to a different perspective to grow or find a new way of thinking this is why someone feels like you're not going to show them any love because of all the damage they've caused along the way chaser energy someone thought that you would always be attached now that you are detached they see this as unfinished business daydreamer energy someone feels like your dreams are coming true they thought that they could run from you and run from their mistakes but i feel the confusion caused something to be more realistic especially when you decided to walk away or not give in to someone's game it's overwhelming 
I feel something is overwhelming when it comes to someone's guilty conscience. They're reflecting, yet this energy is still keeping secrets. There's no conversation. This energy is just reminiscing, but also regretting some things they never did or never said. I feel this is someone who just never gave you your flowers. This is someone who never respected or appreciated you. They just neglected you. Neglected to see the energy you brought, the honesty you were trying to bring to a situation. This energy neglected you and misunderstood you. I feel this is someone who's just indecisive, but I feel your absence is definitely missed here. I feel someone step into a different type of destiny when they try to escape or run something behind the scenes. I feel they ruined a chance, missed an opportunity. Now something has become unfinished business. I feel something has become unfinished business in a situation where someone lost you along the way. I feel something just kind of faded out. You got tired of the games, the mind games with someone who should have just truly loved you. Now this energy is sitting in fear, feeling like you are detached from love or forgiveness. Yet this energy is wanting you to give in to the history, the memories. But I feel instead of thinking about the memories of love, I feel like you're thinking about the memories of someone not being loyal, not being respectful or honest, being dismissive when it comes to your energy. I feel this is someone who played a lot of games that caused you to feel that they would never change. But I feel in so many ways this confusion that they brought to the table here pushed you in a direction that made you feel like you may never see them the same. This is what they fear. There's too much space. I feel there's too much space or there's too much distance because of the secrets and lies and the fact that there's no clarity. Hmm. Gossip. <laughs> there's a lot of talk here. There could be gossip about this energy who favors you or wants to come clear with you. Something needs to be revealed. Someone knows that, but this energy is just allowing others to talk or this energy is creating this gossip. Please take it how it resonates, but this energy is still not appreciating you. I feel there's silence between the two of you and someone doesn't know how you have blossomed, how you have changed. Someone thought that you were going to chase, run a chaser energy. Someone thought that you were going to chase something, but you're now detached and someone is wanting to come for you. I feel someone wanted you to move first and in doing so, they missed an opportunity. Someone missed an opportunity because they thought that you would chase. Instead, this is someone who fed into the gossip or this energy created it. I feel someone created gossip and in turn, you only met you only transformed or metamorphosis energy here of someone who thought they can gain attention from someone around them. This could be from a group of people as well, but whoever this energy is, they've been, they've been sitting in this energy for a while now. This is where the confusion comes from, but this energy still has hope. I really don't know why, because someone is making a mistake of running or causing a misunderstanding. Now they really see something was just a big regret. A big regret when it comes to confusion, never uh, respecting you or trying to understand you. Someone didn't appreciate you. They just created a lot of gossip behind the scenes. For some of you, there's some jealousy here attached to this energy. This could also be this energy. Please take it out of resonance, but I feel this is someone who caused you to lose hope. There's too many mistakes. This could be in a soul contract where someone had a lot of soul ties. This is weird. Okay, so there's a soul contract, a soul tie, and a third party. So this could be someone you have a soul connection with, a soul tie. This could be a blood bond. This could also be an outside energy of a third party. Please take it how it resonates. But this is also a soul contract that you have with some someone. This should have lasted a long time. This should have lasted forever, but someone broke this bond. Someone broke the contract. Broken. Something is broken. Something has never been amended because of someone's egos. How someone chose to deal with this situation. Someone lied on you. Someone ran from you. Someone dis disconnected or caused a lot of damage within this situation because they never thought that they would be called out or they just never thought that you would see a truth. But there's some disagreements here when it comes to value, losses, money, or even how they chose to treat you. For some of you, it's not what they did. It's how they chose to do it. I feel this 
this is someone who has a lot of habits when it comes to not forgiving others. But this is someone who wants your forgiveness, but there's too much damage and they know that from the heart. This is why there is no making amends. Something just won't be so easy when it comes to a commitment where this energy was truly dishonest. Someone knows they sabotaged the connection with you. Even when you try to make amends, I feel like you just gave up enough. It's enough. Now someone is feeling unworthy. Unworthy when it comes to a new chapter. This energy feels like you have turned your back because they were holding back when it comes to mistakes and escaping. Not understanding. Now someone is in regret because the love just isn't the same. Someone thought that you would love them regardless. Someone thought that you understood their pain and you would let something slide. But I feel the values, the disrespect, the ego, it just, it became too much. It became too much and now someone feels like you're running. For some of you, you just feel like this has disappointed you too many times to just give in. You could be trying to heal, you're detached, you're trying to figure yourself out instead of giving in to someone's toxic ways of being because it has changed a lot of things not just destiny but the way that you both feel about a lot of things i feel there could be a lot of space someone's re reminiscing and wanting to reveal something but this energy doesn't know what to say not to tap into your pain someone knows they could cause you a lot of pain that's the last card which would be ego so someone is reminiscing about how something started but i feel someone is definitely leaving out the details just to keep their heart from breaking but i feel someone is sitting in a space where they know they should have asked for forgiveness or begged for your understanding i feel like someone should have took you your kindness, not for a weakness. I feel you could have said a lot. So someone knows that you could say some things that could really screw some things up. But I feel this energy has plotted or schemed on how to turn that back around on you. Turn your truth into chaos. Someone's reminiscing how they dismiss you out of ego and pride, pain. This is someone who's definitely sitting in some unhealed things and they're just hoping that you don't let go forever or you haven't forgotten them but i feel they're also hoping that karma doesn't take them out in the process this is someone who has a lot going on a lot of things need to be clear or revealed when it comes to a close bond or soul contract connection i feel this is someone who disappointed you because there is no respect there is no loyalty for someone who has dismissed you for so long I feel someone wanted you to still be bound or tied to this connection. This is why they were sitting in a space of trying to tempt you, wanting you to be connected for life. And I feel being addicted was just not in the cards. So someone thought that you had a lot of love and you would always be loyal. This is why they would tempt you with things and then pull back on you so it's almost like they're giving in and then they're taking it back i feel this is someone who knows that you are an empath and they put you on the empath overload giving you love and taking it back someone knows that you love to be loved someone knows that you love this energy but this energy plays with that this is a very seductive energy of temptation someone moving out of ego Chasing you down, then giving you space. Someone feels like this time you won't forgive. Someone knows that you are an empath. You are built to be loved or you are built to lead or guide. This could be even be a nurturing energy, but I feel this is someone who is so addicted to their own chaos that this energy has just never let up on you. There's a lack of loyalty. For some of you, it feels like a lack of care. But it's only because someone knows that you love so hard. Impact energy. Someone just hopes that you find a way to move on or forgive them. For many of you, there's been a lack of an apology. And for others, there's some type of fake energy. You feel like this energy is just not being real when they talk to you. They're not being authentic. 
But this energy does feel bad, even if they have yet to admit it. They think about it a lot. Someone thinks about it a lot because you were the ones that was supposed to be in their feelings, but this energy is so wrapped up in their ego, they have yet to really understand something that needs to be understood. Someone's very affected. This is why I say they're praying for a way out. This energy is hoping that you don't see something a certain way for good, but I feel this has been going on for so long. Many of you just don't care or you just feel like things will never change, as this is someone who's been avoiding the truth of the pain they have caused for a very long time. Because after all this time, they're starting to realize something just won't be the same. There's too much silence. And for some of you, there is no contact at all. Because deep down, they know you didn't deserve any of this. Not the gossip, the energy of trying to disrespect you in any type of way. I feel so many ways someone was afraid of you getting too big. They're truly affected. Someone is definitely affected. They're pulling around some type of big ego, but there's a lot of regret as well. I feel this energy is held down because they're trying not to admit what they feel. Hmm. But someone also can't get over the fact that you didn't deserve the obstacles they created. But I feel now that time and consequences has caught up with them, someone is starting to think differently. Because they are feeling bad, they're affected. Someone knows that the gossip they created won't go away. Someone's addicted to the toxicity, but someone's fighting some bigger demons than they've created with you. Someone's moving out of ego, and they're very uncertain. I feel like this is someone who has a lot of baggage that they're not talking about. This is what makes them uncertain, not just with you, but with life. I feel this is someone who is living an unhappy life or they're attached to an unhappy bond. And for some of you, they're alone even when they're not alone. This is someone who likes to put up a facade, feeling like they are on top of the world, but they're completely miserable. And this is why they avoid you. They know you have a big heart. Someone knows you got a lot of love. And it's hard to resist you. Someone avoids you. They're putting on some type of show, some type of facade. Wanting you to make the first move. Someone felt like you were just too loyal. Like you wouldn't be able to let go. or hmm. Someone thought that you would never stop reaching out. But I feel something changed here. You felt like someone would never change when it comes to a facade. <sighs> Them pushing you away. You finally started to see something. Mm. You started to see something just wasn't right. You're cautious. And I feel you being cautious or not wanting to deal with something or someone. They're try trying to put the energy out there that you are harboring ill energy towards them. But I feel this is just you setting boundaries. In fact, I feel your heart is protected as well as guarded. And that is rightfully so. Someone's playing games with you and this is why you are cautious, not harboring ill energy energy. There's someone who's still playing games here, still being inconsistent, wishy-washy, tension behind the scenes. So this is someone who is still being something around you and something else. So what I see here is when this energy is being loving and caring towards you, this energy is doing a lot behind the scenes that is the total opposite of that. And when they are uplifting you behind the scenes, this energy is treating you like crap. Just so when you do speak out, they can say that I speak positive of you all the time, but I feel this is just the games they play. Someone thought that they would never be figured out. Someone thought that you would always move first, but I feel them causing all of this tension behind the scenes is the real reason or the real person who is harboring these ill feelings or toxic energy, not you. This is someone who is creating their own karma, and this is why your heart may be protected or you could be a little suspicious when it comes to them. Someone's definitely playing games and being secretive. Someone's really kind of shocked that you're not reaching out. They're used to it. I feel there's a lot of regret because you're now cautious towards them. Someone knows that you see something. Someone didn't think that you would see past love. Wow. 
Soon as them like that, you, that you close the door or shut them out. Someone doesn't like this new you or this new feeling. Someone never thought that you would feel this way about them. But they feel like you're harboring ill will and acting cold. This could be their energy as well. But someone thought that you would always make something work. You would always fix something or work on it. But I feel for many of you, that's just wishful thinking for someone who destroyed something that was built solid. Someone wants you to feel like they have good intentions, but they feel like deep down you're just going to say no. Because things are always repeating, things are always going round and round for someone who is coming out as a false energy, a false prophet. Someone who is faking who they claim to be, claiming to be religious or having spiritual healing. Someone has been false with you. They know it, and they know that you know it. This is why something has yet to be forgiven. Someone still has yet to reach out, and someone is praying that their karma doesn't get as big as it has gotten. This is a snake energy who deserves an Oscar for their habits, trying to get away with something strategically, but someone was found out, and this is why there is distance, because someone is still not being accountable for their harsh ways, but this is someone who just wants you to let something go, they know they messed up, this energy knows they messed up, but they're still not speaking up on something that has been long overdue, you just feel like you just can't be yourself anymore. That you're tired of being fake or phony or looking over or compromising when they, all they were doing was agitating you. Being one way in private and then screwing up and doing things behind the scenes to hurt you deeply. And they know it. Someone did some things because they're addicted to chaos. Not because they really want to hurt you. For some of you, sure. But wholeheartedly, this is someone who moves out of emotion and ego. And when you mix the two, it creates chaos. Toxic behaviors where someone is addicted to how things turn out. This is someone who is addicted or bound to unhealthy things or unhealthy relationships. And this is why you're having such a big problem with this energy. is because that's not what you believe in. That's not what you want. This is not what you seek. But this energy is so bound to toxic situations or toxic things, this energy just doesn't really know how to truly love you. Like I said before, this is someone who is too busy putting on a show, deserving an Oscar for the act that they put on. This is someone who's been putting on this show for a long time. Many of you are protecting your heart because of it, but I feel you don't even know half of what's really going on behind the scenes. This is someone who projects something when it comes to you because they know the whatever that they are accusing you of, that's the energy that they harbor. That is the energy that they bring to a situation. And as I said before, many of you know something isn't right. Someone is mesmerized by your energy, but someone is still not moving out of a space of love, protection. Someone should have protected you or this connection, but they were moving out of ego, disrespecting the connection. Not because there was a need for it, but someone just did it because they could. Someone doesn't like you on a high horse. They feel like you were trying to be some type of way. Someone knows you're going to have to say no to something. This is why they behave this way. And because they feel you're going to say no, this energy just lashes out. This energy tries to provoke you in some type of way because they are so addicted to a toxic way of dealing with things. There's no sense of stability because you feel like this energy just can't be loyal. Something needs to be talked about. Something needs to be revealed when it comes to a connection. When it comes to a heartbreak, disappointment. Someone did a lot of things that they shouldn't have, said a lot of things that they shouldn't have, and there's a sense of guilt here, a guilty conscience, but someone is effectively like trying to forget the details because they know how bad something can truly get. Someone knows if they reach out or try to get you to come to some type of event or function, you're just going to say no, or you already have. 
But I feel for many of you, you may have had a change of heart. Even if you don't want to be around this energy, you're trying to do things in a positive way. But I feel for some of you, you have cut ties and this is what you expect it to be. You know something isn't right. You know something isn't right when it comes to someone who still has an ego. This is someone who has mended things with you a lot of times. And I'm not saying because they tried, it's because you did. And this is why this energy is lost to how to fix something with you. Because in the long run, they really never tried. This is someone who knows that they miss you. They know that they are mesmerized on how you are able to pick yourself up and dust yourself off. This is someone who wants to meet out. They want to meet in a certain place and let you know how affected they feel. But this is someone who is gaslight, gaslit you so many times out of pride, ego. You just don't know if they're still putting on a show. You just feel like as soon as you give in, they're going to show you why you have chosen to be a part. But I feel this is someone who sits in a sense of pride, but I feel they're, they are becoming weak, weaker. This could be from the stresses of life. This could be from an illness. This could also be from the intentions around them. Something is falling apart. Others are seeing them for who they are. Someone wants to, to see that they have good intentions or this energy of pride wants you to understand they know that you are an angel, heaven sent, because they miss you. Someone misses you a lot. This energy is heavily affected and they seduce you with pipe dreams and energy of wanting to heal something and they just go back to their old ways. This is someone who has a double standard when it comes to you. This is someone who likes things their way and as soon as you stand against that or you have your own opinion or anything of that nature, you fight back in some type of way, this energy gives you shit. Someone doesn't want you to stand up. Someone doesn't want you to speak out. And when you do, they create some type of damage. They give in to other energies or they start some type of damage. Deflecting. Deceiving you wearing a mask. Someone is definitely someone around you and something else around others. This energy is acting innocent or this false prophet is pretending to be an angel. But this energy does a lot of things when they get bored. I feel this is someone who has had the upper hand in the past. But I feel they're needing a helping hand or this energy feels like you are out of their league. I feel this is someone who just feels like they lost you. Or this could be the energy of them knowing they lost themselves. Someone got bored and they got entangled in a third party or creating some type of damage with a false environment. This is someone who is yet to really truly say that they are sorry. They are still hiding a truth, but wanting to seek you out. But they feel like you have too much evidence. You have too many receipts. Someone feels like you already know the truth and they don't really need to say much. Someone that feels like you have a lot of evidence when it comes to their self-destructive ways. Someone was definitely sitting in self-destructive mode when they tried to hurt you or cause damage within your life. Now they're trying to play it cool, not wanting to admit they were wrong about you or didn't see a truth about you. In fact, this energy is still wanting to reach out. I feel like this is someone who wants to check on you, but... They could be still trying, you feel like you're, they're still trying to set a trap. Hmm. But I feel someone is waiting for the right time. Someone's trying to cool off or they're just trying to make sense of their mistakes. And they're wanting to reach out. This is someone who wants to check up on you because things haven't been the same. There's no conversation. There's been no contact. Or for many of you, there's been contact, but there's been no resolve. You feel like they're still hiding something. They're still wearing a mask. They're still putting on a show. You just don't know. This energy is always flipping and changing on you, even though they do admire you. They just don't know if you'll say yes. Let them back in or believe anything that they have to say all because of the past. All of the damage that was created. This energy was sitting in their pride, sitting in their ego, believing that you would never stray, that you would never change. But I feel this is someone who may have gaslit you for the wrong reasons or at the wrong time. Because it definitely broke your heart. And as I said before, you definitely have a very big heart for someone who should have never deserved so much from you. 
someone's definitely deflecting or they're trying to deflect. One more card, last card, Holy Spirit. A lot of activity here. So this is telling me that someone has a lot of activity going on when it comes to a group of people. They could be trying to influence a group of people or someone regrets trying to do so because something just didn't work. I feel like someone was sending you hating. You don't even know it. This is someone who has been doing a lot of juggling. Mm. Wow. For some of you, someone had no clue how spiritually protected you are. This is why some of you have no clue about this damage that someone was trying to cause. And for some of you, you are fully aware. You are fully aware and someone is reminiscing about how they wasted their time or someone will be in that energy because there's a lot of confusion here. Where things are going round and round, there's no clarity. Someone is definitely deflecting their energy, their damage onto you. They're addicted to the toxic energy. Someone thought that you would chase something down or want to be a part of something. Let's get a little bit more energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. We're going to do this. <laughs> Wow. Someone knew that you were going to be optimistic. Someone felt like you would always smile or try to compromise within a situation. Someone knew that you wanted something to work. This is why they felt like you would never pull back. But someone's skating on thin ice, deflecting their energy, their unhappy ways, or their misery onto you. As I feel this energy only causes confusion or activity because they desired attention. This is someone who is attention seeking. This is why they have so much pride and ego. It's all about them and their selfish ways. But I feel them causing all of this damage and chaos is because you pushed back. You didn't go with the flow. Someone sees you as being rebellious. Someone sees you as being overwhelming. They feel like you just got out of control. And I feel in the attempt of putting you in your place, someone just, they just changed on you. Someone changed on you. And I feel like it's because they no longer had your attention. You're no longer compromising or putting on a, a, a cool front or a happy face. But someone felt like you would always be tied to the memories, going down memory lane. I feel someone could be skating on thin ice. This is someone who changed on you because you were unwilling to share and give them the attention that they wanted. This energy started being cryptic. Hmm. I feel something was locked down. Someone feels like you don't want to play the game, then you won't get this. This became something of an exchange or... Someone's just playing nice guy, but really insecure and being an imposter. Pretending to be something or someone that they are not. Someone's trying to set you up to fail. But I feel in the process of trying to hurt you, someone hurt themselves. I feel there's a lot of damage within this situation. Someone tried to cause damage. Someone felt like you were trying to go against the grain. Hmm. Someone felt like you were trying to do damage and someone was trying to lighten their load by putting their negative energy or misery onto you. I feel like this is someone who held a grudge and this is why they're skating. But they're nice. I feel this is someone who is just not seeing something for what it was. Their insecurities was blocking something so someone felt like they needed to put you in your place or do something to set you up to fail. Someone feels like their dreams didn't come true or things are not working out for them. So they didn't want to see you sitting in a happy space. Someone feels like you were not willing to share, but I feel you would have gave them everything, especially when it comes to the history of this connection. But I feel this energy held a grudge against you for so long or they switched on you pretending to be something that they are not. Many of you had to make a choice. Hmm. So, this is crazy. Okay. So, someone thought that you would always be optimistic about this connection. And they feel like in doing so, they would always keep you hopeful. And keeping you hopeful keeps you sidetracked and not moving on. 
So they hold this grudge to keep you attached. They don't know how to keep something intact in a non-toxic way. But someone knows that they want your attention. They just have an addiction to holding grudges or being petty. And I feel this energy is skating on thin ice when it comes to doing something publicly. I feel there's someone who is doing something in a cryptic way. They're very insecure, trying to set you up to fail when it comes to a mob-like mentality. But I feel this mob-like mentality with this group of people or trying to set you up to fail is about to crash and burn. I feel someone wanted you to get caught out there. Someone wanted you to be publicly embarrassed. But I feel someone is trying to put on that energy when it comes to you because they feel like you don't need them. This is someone who is sitting in a very deep-seated energy. As I said before, this is someone who knows what they feel and what's going on has nothing to do with you, but yet this energy still sits in this deep-seated energy, wearing their heart on their sleeve, feeling like you don't want or need them. Someone's wanting to embarrass you, wanting you to get caught out there. They're trying to do something with a mob-like mentality, needing others to play along or go in in the challenge, this is a tip for tat energy of someone who wants others to laugh or call you out. Someone is wanting something to happen publicly. I feel this is someone who has a mob-like mentality, wanting others to chastise you or talk about you behind your back. Someone wants you to get, get, get caught up, but whatever this is will crash and burn. Someone trying to set you up to fail won't work out at all. I feel someone being cryptic and wearing their heart on their sleeve and thinking that you are um, not going to deal with this the right way. It's, it's going to crash and burn. Hmm. I feel whatever they are trying to project onto you is going to happen for self. As I already feel this energy has felt the sting of the karma that's coming their way. I feel many of you have leveled up. I feel your absence is definitely a part of that karma. I feel someone doesn't have access to you for a purpose. I feel this is someone who dims your light in some type of way. And I feel they won't have access until it's time for them to recognize that you have leveled up or you are out of reach. Some of you are just very independent energies and someone needs to hit the brakes and tell the truth. Because the truth lives. There is nothing left but the truth. Someone is definitely wearing their heart on their sleeve, knowing that they will crash and burn at some point. Someone thought that they would never fail, but this is coming to fruition. This is about to be their reality. Someone's very cryptic when it comes to wearing their heart on their sleeve, but I feel this is why they tap into these childish ways of trying to put people in their place through pain or mischief or toxic ways of being. Someone is just real toxic. They like to see people in a vulnerable space because they can't level up, they can't grow. It's too late or someone just doesn't have the tools. Someone has been dragging something out when it comes to you. And this, this is why you're cautious. You're cautious because this energy has made you guarded or feeling like you need to be protected against them because this energy has played these games for so long. Many of you just needed to be intuitive because the truth will set someone free. Someone just doesn't like the fact that you have moved on or you're unbothered or you're just okay being with self, being independent, having your peace and your sanity. Someone didn't think that you were going to walk away like this. Someone felt like you were going to get mobbed out. There were too many people involved. It's like a, this is the energy of someone feeling like you would think you were outnumbered. Feel some type of way about others laughing or pointing something out. But I feel you're dealing with someone where the lights are on, but no one is home. No one's home when it comes to this energy who is easily distracted when it comes to pain. I feel the embarrassment that they want wanted for you is now become their pain. This is the tie that binds them. There's a lot of junk in their drawer. And this is what they choose not to talk about, think about. And this is why they attack others, not just you. This is someone who attacks others as well. And when they don't have access to you, they have a mob-like mentality when it comes to other people. I feel this is someone you had to use your intuition with. This is someone who knows that you are bound to see a truth or live your life or 
Hmm. Someone feels like they just won't get their way. Someone didn't see how spiritually protected you are. I feel like you could be using your intuition when it comes to someone who wanted you to fail. Someone who held a grudge. Or someone who feels like you're just not sharing. I feel like this is someone who holds their heart on the sleeve. And this is why they have a mob-like mentality trying to affect you. Because you are affecting them. Someone doesn't want you to know that you affect their heart. They don't want you to know that they wear their heart on their sleeve, but I feel you've already noticed that. You already see that, especially from their behavior, because I feel like you did nothing to get this energy from them, but I also feel they know that as well. I feel this is someone who is very dismissive towards you, somewhat belligerent. This is not for everyone, but I feel this is someone who can rage out on you at times, especially when it comes to being behind the scenes someone has a lot of lies they're sugar holding the facts they're sugar holding the truth and they're trying to bait you in when it comes to some type of strife or some type of situation that they're hoping you react to so if someone was wanting you to react to something but since you didn't i feel like something changed but in the process i feel someone was being dismissive trying to bait you in sugar coding a fact and oversharing about a situation somewhat belligerent when it comes to talking to other people about you i feel this is someone who has a mouthful of lies they're wanting to sugarcoat the facts that up so others will react this is the mob like mentality I feel there could be a some type of situation between the two of you and they just overstate the facts just so other people can react towards you, hate you, or have a mob-like mentality towards you. This energy could be a part of it or just creating the drama. But I feel this is a hostile situation. Someone's definitely emotional, but yet this energy is waiting for an opportunity. Someone feels like they can easily distract you or easily affect you emotionally, but I feel this just didn't work out. Someone was just lit, laying it on too thick but i feel many of you are so used to this person backstabbing you or not being the person that they say that they are you have yet to fall for these childish ways i feel like whatever you did in this situation was an encore someone didn't see something coming they were laying it on thick and this energy was sort of coding the facts someone was definitely being cryptic while dismissing your energy your heart, your love, didn't see something for what it was. Someone didn't want others to see it either. But I feel someone didn't see the fact that you were going to win in the end or something was going to work out great for you because someone didn't see in the moment that they were wasting time. But trust me, they wasted a lot of time and energy trying to bring you down or disrespect you. I feel someone thought that they, you were going to settle or take something easy or not go so hard. But as I said before, they didn't see something for what it was. They wasted a lot of time with childish petty ways wearing their heart on their sleeve trying to create a mob like mentality behind the scenes or a hostile situation someone was oversharing and stabbing you in the back but i feel the fact that you never lost hope you never lost gratitude within the universe this is what changed everything hmm. Well, this is why no weapon formed against you has yet to conquer, as karma has now become a bitch for someone who never saw it coming. I see karmic lessons for someone who is learning something the hard way. This is someone who was stringing something along, and now something or someone is rolling in their grave. Someone is rolling in their own misery, knowing that they have should have settled something with you instead of backstabbing you or being childish with you for some of you you extended so many olive branches or compromises with this energy yet this energy never gave in because they were abusing their power or their position someone's just used to the toxic ways of being someone thought that healing things with you would wouldn't bring them the attention that they seek i feel playing the victim is how they get the attention that they want now that they feel that you don't want them or you don't need them i feel you have a lot of love for this energy you just don't have a lot of love for the damage and the drama they bring your way but as i said before this is someone who is skating on thin ice when it comes to their mob like ways one more card but I feel this is someone who still has a childish way of doing things. For some of you, you might have to forgive someone who is in need and sorry. I feel this is someone who has caused a lot of damage within a situation. Hmm. 
and they could be skating on thin ice when it comes to being cryptic about change or being honest about what they feel because until the truth come out the mouthful of lies will continue someone's definitely doing something out of ego or a very uncomfortable space where they're harboring their heart on their sleeve this energy has a bruised ego and they're spoiled this energy is coming out as being spoiled and childish they're not wanting others to know how truly damaged or lethal they truly are but i feel like someone is not really realizing how effective these mouthful of lies are as well someone definitely caused a little damage here when it comes to your reputation or what others thought of you but this is why they didn't stop and they were being cryptic about the damage but now something something has caused the ice to melt here someone's definitely skating on thin ice because you are moving intuitively you know someone is spoiled and someone is only trying to fulfill a fantasy someone is also money hungry someone doesn't want you to know what they do for money or the fact that they're losing money or need money someone doesn't want you to know what's going on in their current circumstance something is falling apart they're spoiled and they want you to believe that they're still moving forward or still things are still working out for them this could be why they're skating on thin ice or being cryptic as well because things have already crashed and burned things are already falling apart they're trying to bait you into some type of disagreement or some type of toxic stuff but i feel for many of you this energy is lashing out when they do that this energy has love for you but has a very toxic and, and deadly way of showing it especially when this energy has no love this energy can be a bugaboo I feel like when this energy has no options, they reach out to you and you know it. And you'll still go to them and show them love. And they'll still act a fool with you. And this is when you distance yourself again. And this is why they create this mob-like mentality. Because they make up lies and create haters for you. Creating haters for you because they hate themselves. But someone already knows this diamond in the rough. This card was hiding behind this other one. Someone already knows that you are a diamond in the rough. Someone knows that they have a lot of love for you, but I feel someone is bothered by the fact that there's so much light and energy attached to you. Someone's just toxic. Someone's toxic ways of thinking and believing gave the energy of trying to put you in your place or trying to make you understand something that was fully understood already but I feel many of you were trying to compromise or not try to ruffle any feathers many of you allowed someone to play in your face even though you know they were not being authentic I feel that was your way of trying to compromise hoping that someone would step into a higher power and move right with you but I feel you had to stand in your power when it comes to someone who is just drama Someone just got caught up. Someone got caught up in their betrayals of being spoiled, spreading toxic things or toxic gossip or giving into hate, creating haters. Someone's now sick. This could be mentally, physically. This could be in a lot of ways, but I feel someone's definitely not liking the fact that they are now caught up and things are moving well for you or that's what they think. This is someone who whose life is blowing up. Hmm. Things are definitely not the same when it comes to someone who thought that they were doing the right thing or pushing you away or trying to call you out. Someone thought that they had to do things this way. Hmm. Throw something away the way that they did. It's, now they realize how bad it was. Someone knows that they were being toxic, but someone betrayed you anyways. Now you may see them as a snake and they're sick about it. They're sick about the arguments and they're wanting to bug you about it, but now that their life is blowing up and they feel caught up, the same energy they want you to give, I feel like someone's stability is off. The love isn't the same or everyone around them, feel, it feels like everyone hates each other or is stabbing each other in the back. There's a lot of snakes in the grass. No one can be trusted. There's a lot of betrayal and someone's just want to burn the evidence because everybody is just like trying to save themselves. Hmm. 
someone doesn't want you to know what happened to the money or what they did to the money or what they did for money or someone feels like you're leveling up into money and someone's just trying to ride something out still trying to feel something that is burning up in flames it's a lot of betrayal they can't grow in a space where there's a lot of betrayal someone is now realizing what they have with you can never be replaced someone feels like something has been expired someone feels like you know a truth hmm. So, and for some of you, they feel like you know their life is blowing up too. You are centering yourself. You know that something is out of your hands, but someone is afraid of what you're attracting, what you're drawing in, what you're doing, because they love you in a big way. But I feel there's envy, insecurities, anger still attached to them, or this this is their energy. I feel this is someone who is still dealing with some unhealed things, or this energy has created an environment where there's a lot of toxic energy circling around them. I feel this is someone who is trying to brainstorm because they know they still have a, a lot of love for you, but they also know they need to set a record straight when it comes to the snakes in the grass or these toxic ways. Someone knows they have a crush or they still have love, but these haters are definitely going to stand in the way someone feels like they need to repair something because you're not going to want to listen hmm. someone feels like you're not going to want to listen because everything is always drama someone tries to repair something you may feel like it's a safe space and then this energy acts up on you someone's wanting to talk about that for once, someone is wanting to talk about the issues, but I feel for many of you, you feel like why right now it's so late in the game, there's so much damage, there's some things that cannot be undone. I feel there's too much destruction here, things are shattered, broken and beyond repair, and for others you feel like some things can be mended, but this energy must move with care. I feel like this is someone who needs to check themselves about some type of apology. This energy needs to come from the heart, it can't be fake, and someone's about to make a move but they're still in their feelings someone's trapped in their own head someone kept you a secret or someone knows they're keeping secrets yet still putting on a show so i feel like whatever these secrets are is because they're still putting on a show they're living a nightmare someone doesn't want you to know that they're receiving karma someone feel like for some of you ugh, for some of you they feel like you cursed them like you did something like to you know, tie or bind their life. But I feel like you didn't. It's just, this is just cause and effect. This is just karma, baby. This is something coming back their way. This is what goes around, comes around. This is just how life is. And this energy really screwed up when they screwed over you. Game over. Heartbreak. You're tired of it. This is someone who is truly emotional. They know they screwed this up. They sh they're going to blame it on their prescription drugs. Someone feels like they were doped up or they were too under the influence. This is how something got so big or fell through. Someone realized they can't cap copycat you. You can't be duplicated. The void that they feel can't be voided. They think about this separation all the time. The broken promises. The fact that they turn sugar into salt. This is someone who got cooked kick to the curb or they're dealing with fake energies or they created fake foundations and they're disappointed they know they should have been a bigger person in this but they couldn't be strong enough someone's been sitting in their weaknesses for so long and now that you're protecting yourself and you're just simply over it over the drama someone feels like you're never gonna come back not after what they done or not after the you have found a sense of peace or the the fact that you may find out their life is a hot mess. And I know for some of you, you feel like you've always knew that, but it's it's gotten worse. This energy feels like they, they wish they can burn away the past and do things all over, but I don't feel like it's going to be that easy. Things have just been too toxic for too long, and as I said before, even if you know or don't know the truth, you're standing in your power. You're not receiving the fake energy. They can't just burn away the past when it comes to this. It just won't be that in your, that easy. And the fact that they have love for you, that's great. That's cool. But it's too much damage. Something needs to be repaired because you're not wanting to share their nightmare. Let's get one final card. 
Wow, so someone knows that you're now attracting something different. You're centering yourself and because of this bad behaviors, their mistakes, someone's got a lot of anger issues. Someone feels like they can't control what they feel because it's like in one moment they're trying to keep from reaching out or loving you and then the next minute this energy is hating you. But I feel many of you already know the reason for that. This energy is just toxic. They just don't know how to love. Someone doesn't know how to give you what they don't have, and you already know that. I feel this is someone who is living a nightmare because they don't know how to get right, walk right, get it right. Whatever this is, this is someone who knows they're sick because of the damage that they've created, the toxic things that they've done, things that they won't admit. Someone knows they created this fire in their life because they sit in denial. Okay, so someone's sitting in denial when it comes to the fires that they've created for their life. As this energy sits in denial about trying to create some type of outnumbered situation in the background, I feel like this energy thought that you would be emotional or feel outnumbered in a situation, thinking they knew enough about you to provoke you or break you, but didn't realize you can't break what can't be broken i feel like this is someone who feels like they can't move on or they feel like you shouldn't move on let's get some more energy in here someone knows that they can't just replace you or your absence is definitely missed they should have never tried to put you in your place i feel for many years you tried to cope with something you tried to deal with someone you just thought it was their personality, but I also feel you're right about that. I feel whatever you're thinking about this energy, they know that it is complete. It, it is true. Telepathic energy here. Someone knows that you are a healer. Em empath energy, as I said before. Someone knows that you can heal this, but I feel the fact that you are letting something you're letting something be or you're just letting the universe handle something has created a lot of damage because when you let go i feel the universe definitely started to take the will in the situation so i feel like you you dealt with a lot when it comes to a situation here someone feels like you tried to heal something but this energy didn't understand you in the way that you needed them to because they were still sitting in denial and i feel whatever you know about this situation or this person is something that has helped you find a peace or a sense of closure i feel you found a way to heal yourself someone wasn't expecting that i feel someone is just used to pushing your buttons making you angry, making you feel some type of way about yourself or even life. I feel this is someone who put you in some toxic energy. As I said before, you guys, this energy never thought that they would have a last chance or seek some type of situation, but I feel like they could be on the verge of trying to do something. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who's just shocked because they just never thought that you would be able to move on or separate yourself from something. I feel like this is someone who thought that you would fight or argue. Someone thought that you were going to get loud and prove them wrong or try to prove your point. Someone was trying to affect you so that you would prove everything that they have said about you in, in the past or behind your back. They wanted you to prove that loud and proud through an argument, a fight, something that they can prove that you're crazy or out of control. But I feel something happened here that they did not expect. Hmm. I feel like the fact that many of you are lacking in the department, the department of giving in, you know someone loves to push your buttons. I think that you're aware of that now. Hmm. I feel like you're aware of someone being strategic. I feel them making you wait is also strategic, but I feel they're overthinking some things when it comes to a situation here. But I feel that's also a part of the control, being undecided. Someone's trying to control something by being undecided, but I feel them being clueless is only bringing more differences. I feel this is someone who is moving in silence. They know there's a lot of things that are unclear or left unsaid, but they also feel like you're just focusing on self and they're just not wanting to step into that. Someone feels like they need to give you 
your space or it's just still acting clueless, undecided, and making you wait is the strategy. I feel in doing so, it only created differences that caused many of you to just let go. Let go and let God or just let go for good. Many of you just shut them out, shut down. This is why someone just doesn't have the access they want. I feel this is on someone who is worried. Worried about how you think of them, what you're thinking of them. What do you think about the commitment, the family, the bond? They're burdened by those thoughts. Someone's burdened by the fact that they let you go. Someone did that unintentionally. Someone didn't think that you were going to walk away for good. Someone feels like they just let you slip right through their fingers. This is someone who feels like you're just focused on selling. Someone's not wanting to come in between that. They've done so much damage. This energy is not wanting to invade. I feel things are different because you never moved in the way that you are moving. This energy feels like they may have pushed the wrong buttons, but I feel this is someone who's been put, pushing your buttons for so long. You're numb to the things that they do. But I feel like this energy didn't realize how long this game has been going on until just now. Realizing that you may never come back. Realizing that this may have gone too far. Realizing that they don't have a strategy for this. That's why someone is coming to the realization that the blow up in their life there has been the cause and effect of their own mess, their own nightmare. The nightmare they created for themselves, trying to put you in your place or not realizing you are a diamond in the rough. Because in so many ways, this is someone who doesn't have a reason to hate you. But I feel strategy and divine timing, something... Something is happening this way for a reason. Final energy here. Hmm. So there's a lot of differences here because there's a lot of strategy. Something needs to go up in flames for someone to really heal. Something needs to be burned away. But I feel something will strategically come out in divine timing. Especially when it comes to the people they try to be strategic against you with. Yet I sense this time, it's just different now that someone is realizing how much love they truly had for you. Even though someone knows that they have a lot of love for you and they want to heal something with you, they're still moving from a space of being strategic. But it's not because this energy doesn't have love for you, it's because it's what they know. I feel this is the reason why they're caught up and things are going up in flames, but things were bound to crash and burn. Someone thought that they were getting over on you or getting through something and they're just adding things up. Their karma was being built up. Things were just bound to crash and burn and what they're getting is the results of their bad behaviors and decisions. Someone got themselves caught up, not you. Someone couldn't make a decision within a situation and now they're being haunted by that. Someone feels like they don't have a last chance with you and they're being shut out. Someone feels like you shut down. Someone feels like you shut down because they were being careless, pretending not to know the details or pretending to be clueless within a situation where they knew they were acting strange or causing things to happen. Now they are sitting in a sense of desperation. I feel like this is someone who knows they screwed a lot of things up, but I feel the fact that you are sitting in the energy where you really don't care or you just keep proving them wrong. I feel like this is someone who will soon see the mess they created or this war they created with you was only a mess that was only going to divinely guide them in the long run. I feel like this is someone who has a desire to win with you, but I feel something needs to happen here. I feel like you were divinely guided or heavily protected in a situation. Someone didn't see that coming either. I feel like this is someone who is learning that in a very heavy way. This is a way where someone will be caused to see something for what it is. I feel someone's faith can be built from this if they see the true signs. But for some of you, this energy will get lost. And for others, this energy just might see a truth. 
I feel like for some of you, you shutting down or pulling back your energy really put them in a sense of chaos. This is someone who really doesn't know what to do now that things are silent. But I feel this is someone who missed out on a very big blessing when they chose not to invest love and care for you in the way that they should have. As you can either be a blessing if loved properly, yet a heavy lesson if someone fails you disappoints you or misses the fact that you are a blessing i feel like this is someone who wants to win this is someone who wants to make the right decision when it comes to affairs of the heart someone definitely wants to find a way to heal but they're still being clueless they're shut down in some type of way they're haunted by their past they feel like they're living a nightmare but someone's been living this nightmare for so long they're still riding it out hoping that something will resolve itself but i feel it's only bringing them to a sense of desperation i feel like this desperation is linked to the fact that they really don't know what to do they don't know what to say someone doesn't know how to repair something because you're moving in a different way this is not Intuitively, someone is hunted by how they used to treat you because the first is last and the last is first here and they have a desire to win. It's just hard to read right now. Someone is pretending not to see this win that you're stepping into or they're pretending not to see the fact that you have healed or you're doing things better or you're better than they thought that you would be. Hmm. But I feel someone's still fantasizing about something, freedom. Only you, someone's still thinking about you. They know that they have a lot of love for you, but they feel like there's just too many differences, too many things that have yet to be ironed out. Someone doesn't want you to know that they are angry. Hmm. Someone has a desire to win. They're pretending like they're not angry or living a double life. This energy is pretending to be healed, but they're living a nightmare. This energy feels like there's someone who knew, used to know you. Now that there's a divide, a divorce, a separation, someone feels hopeless to the pain. I feel like this is someone who was rebelling because they were throwing everything but the kitchen sink at your butt and nothing hit. I feel there's a lot of heartache, there's a lot of tears here, but I feel this energy never affected you in the way that they thought that they could, in the way that they intended it to be. Someone lost you a long time ago, but I feel like you were just riding it out, but this energy just had too much drama for you. To retain your peace, you had to separate yourself. Now someone's having late nights thinking about you, feeling like you have now erased them because of their arrogance and pride. I feel like this energy was very arrogant when they were talking about you. There's a lot of games that they like to play, but I feel when you moved on, they realized they should have gave you an apology. Someone feels like they should give an apology, but you're going to make them prove it, or you got a lot of receipts, or you're not just going to let them sit up and tell you both face lies. You're going to react. You're going to hold something. To, you're going to hold them to it, or you're just not going to let them lie to you. Someone knows that they've been living a double life and telling a lot of lies, and they're haunted by it. Someone is wanting to lighten that load. But I feel many of you are not allowing this energy to just let go of the things that they have done and reconcile with you. Many of you just feel like they can't be trusted. They're always, always, always trying to control control the connection, control the family, control the teamwork, control everything. And if you're not going with the flow, this energy will just turn on you. Many of you are just tired of that ener this energy turning on you or not being honest or not being the person that they claim that they are. But many of you have been dealing with this for so long, you're just used to this energy thinking you're a fool, but you're never playing the fool. You just have a big heart. And for many of you, you're just over it. Because even if everyone else is sketchy about the details or the facts of this situation, you both surely know the truth. They're just hoping you're in the energy of forgiveness or mercy because despite what they should have done or despite what they should know, they have no clue. This is someone who has no clue about what real freedom is. 
being with someone you love or someone you can really lean on or someone you know will protect you to the ends of the earth that is real freedom hmm. that is true stability but I feel this is someone who has no clue to how to fix or repair the damage they created with you. This is why they pretend even though they know they have the desire to win. Someone's been living this double life, not giving in to the truth of their nature or even their desires. Someone knows that they should heal something with you, but this energy is sitting in a space where they're still giving in to dark desires. Mm. Let's get a final get a final card here from this thing. So this is someone who goes into a space of trying to escape from what they have done. This is someone who moves quickly, never really took the time to heal, yet the fact that you are playing hard to get or they feel like you're hard to reach or hard to read, someone feels like something is in a sense of desperation, but instead of reaching out, this energy is pretending not to care, even though they want something to change. They're just coping in a very toxic way. They could also be lashing out at others around them because things are not going out in the way that they want but I feel like someone knows that what they had with you was true what you were giving was more than compromise because had it been anyone else you would have been given up or never cared so deeply but I feel this is someone who didn't respect that they didn't understand the energy that was given yeah, once they realized you detaching wasn't a joke someone realized they should have made a move way before now but I feel someone was so hell-bent on their strategy. They were undecided when it comes to love or giving in to what they knew they had with you. And because of their freedom or wanting to have things their way, someone is on the outside looking in, knowing they should have given in to an apology. Someone's angry. Angry and sitting in solitude, creating havoc with others and turbulence in others people, other people's lives because they can't get to you. I feel this is someone who sits in regret and they really don't know how to react to their pain. This is why they lash out because they're unhealed and they're not really knowing how to dissolve or relieve their pain. I feel like this is someone who thought that you would move first. They're fighting what they feel even though they know that they miss you. Someone is wanting to set a date. They're doing something secretly but they feel like you're just too focused on yourself. They should have never let you get it away. Because now they're truly burdened. Something has become a burden for them. They feel like something just won't be the right time. They should have never let you go. They should have never let you feel like they didn't care. Because they know now that you are irreplaceable. Someone's fighting the fact that they want to be with you. There's a lot of regret. There's a lot of things from the past that they have said that has caused you to question their actions, their their energy, things that they could say. I feel like you're very guarded when it comes to someone you feel like you just have to shut them out or shut down. They were affecting you too much emotionally, but I feel this is the way that they like to do things. Create emotional bonds, emotional trauma, emotional traumatic situations to keep you fighting to keep you in competition but i feel this is something they now regret someone regrets fighting you or fighting the love that you gave putting you in competition because now that they see that your love and your energy is missed they're wanting to heal something but you feel like it's just for pretend there's a lot of damage here for someone who just went too far. There's too much damage. Enough is enough. And someone feels like they just can't understand or they're all in their head about a friendship. So someone knows that you've had enough. They pushed you too far to a limit. And for some of you, you were very adamant about the limits that you had. I feel for this energy, they know that they have put you through a lot. And they're all in their head about that. But I feel like there are some things that you have yet to discover or talk about that keeps them in their head. Someone is in their head about knowing the fact that this competition pushed you to a limit. There are false accusations or something. It definitely pushed something too far. 
they feel like they have to do something before the competition, the toxic moments, the space between the two of you changes you or them forever. This is someone who wants you to practice forgiveness. Someone feels like they pushed you to a boiling point. Now someone's in regret. Knowing enough is enough. They should have never let you go. They should have never created these burdens for you or fight what they were feeling. I feel this is someone who had a lot of signs to just let go of the pain that they have. I feel for many of you, you are aware of the pain. And for some of you, you have zero clue on why this energy holds this disastrous energy towards you. But I feel they're learning some harsh lessons because of it. I feel due to these lessons, this energy is trying to learn a new way of loving you, but I feel they feel like they're out of time, out of chances. They're trying not to force something, but this energy likes to think of you all the time. They want to reach out. There are some unsent messages where someone is sitting in a space where they're just coming to a realization about you, but I feel what you feel about them has always been there. For some of you, it's still there. I feel this is someone who knows that they cannot escape. They cannot escape what they know that they feel, and they can't move on because they lost you unintentionally. Someone knows that there is no escape, and for many of you, they will call. Someone will call, they will reach out, someone will finally find their way, and for some of you, someone will die lost. I feel for many of you, this is a long time coming when it comes to healing a situation where someone was trying to get away with something strategically just to keep from loving you the right way. I feel like this is someone who got something out of it, whether that is a stroke of pride, ego, attention, whatever it was, this energy was sticking to the script. However, I sense this energy sits in a space where they feel like there is no escape from the pain that they secretly feel, and there is no way to fill the void, but this energy tries, and they still feel. I feel like this is someone who is suffering from their own pleasures, their guilty conscience, the way that they like to deal with people. And them feeling like you will never forgive, you will never heal from this, you will never love him. I feel this is just a, a cautionary tale for someone who luckily doesn't know you at all. This is someone who doesn't know you the way they think that they do. As many of you have already forgiven their actions. Yeah, I sense as long as their sins and weaknesses remain, so will the divide between the two of you. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading.